Uh, so I'm here tonight to talk about the Gallup Purdue Index. Uh, however, and, and how it relates to and is very important for students and for higher education institutions. However, to understand why I'm involved in that project and why that project matters to me, you need to know a little bit about me. My entire career in higher education has been focused around my passion, which is measuring and explaining student success in higher education. This began with my very first job here at Purdue as the assessment coordinator for the Lilly Endowment Retention Initiatives. Those were a set of grant-funded initiatives that began what is now our nationally recognized student success programs and uh, initiatives on campus. Things like learning communities, supplemental instruction, uh, our orientation program, Boiler Gold Rush, all began from uh, that set of initiatives. And that focus in my career has continued all the way through to my current position. And the Gallup-Purdue Index is a natural extension of that. It's focused on our graduates and how their success is in terms of great lives and great jobs once they're done with their education. So why did Purdue get involved with Gallup and with the Lumina Foundation in the GPI? The reason why is it's really about making our value statement in higher education. We are in an environment where increasingly the value of higher education is being questioned. We've moved from a state where higher education was seen as a public value that everyone saw as very important and something we needed to fund, to one where an increasing number of individuals are questioning the cost of higher education and whether the high cost of a degree is worth it. A perfect example of this is the PDK survey that it's administered every year by Gallup. And one of the items in that survey that they ask individuals is, is college very important? A little over four years ago, 75% of the American public said, yes, college is very important. Fast forward to where we are now. In the most recent survey, only 44% of Americans said, yes, college is very important. So we have moved into an environment where the majority of the American public doesn't see college education as very important anymore. The Gallup-Purdue Index is about addressing that. It talks about what is important, what is our value, and how our graduates are leaving, leading great jobs and great lives. And the way we did this was by surveying 30,000 baccalaureate completers in the United States. Came from all 50 states as well as the District of Columbia. And it focused around individuals' well-being, so if they're having great lives, and how engaged and passionate they are in their work, so if they're having great careers, and then a number of college experiences that relate to that. So what was the key finding from the Gallup-Purdue Index? Well, the biggest finding from it is where you went to college was not that important. Now, what I mean by this is that when you look at the results in aggregate and you look at differences between individuals that went to public colleges and those that went to private institutions, there are no significant differences in their well-being and their engagement. There are no significant differences in aggregate between individuals that went to institutions where there are very selective admissions policies and institutions where, the, where their selection policies are more open. And there is no significant difference between graduates from institutions that went to uh, institutions in the top 100 of the US News and World Report and everybody else. So it's not where you go to college that is so important. It's how you go to college that really matters. What we're talking about with this is that there are experiences that you can have during your college education that predict how engaged you are going to be in your work in the future 
and what your well-being is like. And those six experiences that we often call the big six in our, uh, in our releases consist of having at least one professor who made you feel excited about learning. Believing that your professors cared about you as a person. Having a mentor who encouraged you to pursue your goals and your dreams. Working on a project that took a semester or more to complete. Having an internship or a job that allowed you to apply what you were learning in the classroom. And finally, being extremely active in extracurricular activities and organizations. Now, if an individual said they strongly agreed that they had one of these experiences, then their well-being score and their workplace engagement was one and a half to two and a half times higher, depending on which item it was. And that's great, but even better is that these are cumulative. The more you do of these, the better. So for instance, if you look at engagement at work, and you see there is this nice, almost perfect, positive relationship between how many of these items you strongly agree you engaged in and your engagement in your career. Now a knock sometimes on this that you'll hear is that you're right, these things are great, they matter a lot, but doing these slows students down. It makes it harder to get done in four years. And what the Gallup-Purdue Index shows is that's not true at all. In fact, you're more likely to get done in four years the more of these you do. Being more involved speeds up your time to degree. You are more likely to graduate in four years. This is all amazing and fantastic. What's the knock from this? Only 3% of the American population said they strongly agreed they experienced all six of these items. So we've got a way to go in terms of supporting environments and in terms of making sure students are involved in deep experiential learning experiences. Now, as someone who has focused his entire career around higher education research on student success, these results are incredibly edifying. Because if you look at the leaders in student success literature, people like Tinto, Koo, and Austin, and the things they talk about that matter in terms of making students successful here on your campus, things like are you engaged in your education? Are you engaged with your faculty? How integrated are you to the academic and social norms on your campus? What is your level of commitment to your institution and to your degree? We know from over 40 years of higher education research that those things are highly predictive of student success. You're going to get better grades, you're more likely to be retained at your college, and you're more likely to graduate if you have those types of experiences. And we know from 30 years of the Gallup research that if you have earned your degree, you are more likely to have higher well-being and higher engagement. And the wonderful thing about the Gallup-Purdue Index is it says if you have those experiences while in college, not only are you more likely to be successful while you're in college, you're more likely to be successful in your future life. This is like a hallelujah moment for me. I mean, this just justifies everything I have worked for in, in my career. So what does this mean for students? Well, what it really means and what's really important is that it's not enough to just get into the right college. Coming to Purdue is amazing, because why would you want to go anywhere else? But that's not enough, okay? It's, it's not even enough to just be sitting in your classroom and getting good grades. You have to have a passion for your education. You have to be highly engaged in your education. You need to be engaged with your faculty. You need to be having conversations with them. 
You have to be getting involved in the types of work and projects that take time and effort and commitment and thought from you. Things like undergraduate research and study abroad and internships and co-ops. All of those things matter. And they don't just matter for how successful you are at college. They matter in terms of how successful you'll be in your life. And that's why I care so much about what the Gallup-Purdue Index is telling us. Thank you.